Welcome everyone, I'm Vettens and today I'm gonna play uh, Darkness Within in pursuit of uh, Lord Nolder. So we were just back in the house after we went to the Clark Red Clark Redfield house, I don't remember the name. So I suppose we should go to bed, not in the bathroom. Don't need to use it right now, okay. So I think the bedroom is here. Now we go back out. So the bedroom is down there. So I feel so tired. Okay. So I probably go to sleep now. So we were stopped at last. We will rest. We stopped at the the house where when we went down the well, and then it was strange noises, too dark, so we ran away. So now we're gonna see what's happening next. Knock, knock, knock. What? Who's knocking? Who could it be? Don't ask me. Don't remember turning the radio on before I fell asleep. Well, we might as well look. Who's knocking? Why it's so blurry like this? Oh god. Yeah, a moment. Oh, I'm an idiot. Give me a second. So, no one's here. What? Someone was knocking on my door. Where is he? Outside seems so quiet. There is no light on in the moonlight. I'm not going down there. Oh, I'm seeing back home. Too scared. What's the radio doing now? Huh? What's happening on the radio? I hear someone talking. Fuck you, radio. Uh, now it's better. Who, who the fuck is knocking now? Again? Who is it? Who's knocking on my door? It seems darker. Fucking going back inside. There's no one here. What's the meaning of this? Or is it just... A dream? I don't know, and I don't care. Oh. What's happening? Whoa. What oh, fuck? What the fuck? Oh god. Who the fuck are you? Uh, what, what, what happened? Did I die? Did I lose the game? What? It's all dark. Wellsmith State Hospital November 6th 2011 What the fuck was that? Huh? You can't throw me something like that and then tell me nothing What was that? Listen, I need to ask you something about him But who? He woke up several times during the night 
Each time he claimed there was some kind of creature sitting on his chest, preventing him from oh. fully waking up. Does he suffer from nightmares or any other kind of problems? I'm I think not I really suffer. Sure what you mean? Yeah, I'm not really sure what you mean. I see. See what? It's probably nothing. Stress, most likely. Brought yeah, on most likely. Work, combined with not enough sleep. Yeah, probably would be that. Not a big giant yeah, man, all black, yeah. there screaming at me. He needs it. Why was screaming at him? The doctor. Can I talk to him? So is this maybe? Because at the beginning I was telling a story. So is this me in the insane hospital, the asylum? Day two after hospital observation. Oh no. November eighth, two thousand eleven. So I went to a hospital. Oh. Fuck, I'm looking at myself. What's happening to me? I've been suspended from my police job until further notice. It's good. You can relax yourself. The doctor yourself. told me I've suffered a nervous breakdown. Ah, uh, okay. They told me I woke up everyone in my apartment building three nights ago with my screaming. I don't remember that happening. What's well, I wrong do. with me? These dreams I keep having. They seem so real. Yeah, you know. This case, there's something about it. I feel connected to it somehow. But why? You went to Maybe a dead if I could solve it, house. I could understand some of the other things that are happening to me. Yeah, solve it with no police help. Okay. Who's calling? I'm not at home at the moment. Please okay. leave your message after the beep. Let's hear. Hi, Howard. I just called to ask you if everything's all right. Yeah, it's fine. Down, you know. You've got to get yeah, some rest, they mate. told me that, but call you again, they always tell, tell me everything, yourself. like all See stuff. There was a woman yesterday, had a breakdown three days ago, everything. So, maybe you should call him with the Howard. Uh, phone book. Arthur. Sorry. Alan. Who, who was calling me? Erwin. Who the fuck is Erwin? So I have no reason. I'll just get up. Better take my medicine as the doctor ordered. Okay, where's the medicine? What's this room? Oh, my closet. Keep my clothes and some other things in here. Nothing of interest. You say? Good old clothes. I think there'd be something important in here some time. If we can. Oh, God. How can you go back to sleep in the house when you saw that thing? He doesn't remember, I know, but. How can you go back to sleep? Like he was right here. A bastard. So I cannot go here, but I could go in there. So that's the bathroom. With lovely light. With... Oh. So is my medicine here? Is this my medicine? Did I drink my medicine? Enough medicine already, okay. That's fine for us. So, let's see. We go back to our bedroom. And I, I had this thing. I found it, the organizer. I found it in the well. So, now, let me use the organizer. Password. Clark? Or is Chris Clark, was it? Yes. How do we press password? It won't let me press anything. Or well, do you think I can press the space? One? Oh, by itself? Oh, okay. 
reminder note. When will the triumphant witch be reborn? Uh, uh, tomorrow? I don't know. What the fuck would be the... Re Was that the witch? Huh? So, what's this? Do you have something useful here? What's this? I and my night... Ah, oh, nightmares. What's this new? Hmm. I know Paul called Time of... Oh, he's one of my favorite poets. Actually, this is his book. Okay. Here's the poem. Better check it out. Burn house. There is stand under sunlight. The market show. It's still here. Black as the night with no moonlight. It's doomed slate so bare. It's okay. Oh god. These are all poems. And I'll say, tell you something. I'll... Preface? I think it better go. Maybe it's just this thing I have to. Oh, time to pray. Maybe it's this I have to just read. The other things are useless. So it was nice and bleaky, bleak and stormy night. That night after my friend Harold Gallo died, he was just 18, so full of life and bright, found dead alone in his home by Riverside. Then, as the storm was roaring, trees swung left to right. I heard the awful story that now carved in my mind. It was about a witch who would not be seen in daylight. She was betrayed by her people, cursed the town, cursed the town, and died. She lived in the forest too close to our town, so no one would dare to enter from dusk until dawn. Seldom she came here to buy some food or grow or gown, and never said bad things nor caused us any harm. Still, the young ones of the town, their fear great grew great. They said to the people which must be burnt as such, but the old ones stood against and said, God, for your hate. They cried, betraying your brings of trouble far too much. Yet the young ones scared to thought that she could be burned so fast, and they called the witch hunters to burn her down to dust. Without proper inquisition, they put her in a cage. No more scum from her mouth, neither any curse nor rage. As the devouring red flames shone before my eyes, those then hellish words were heard within her painful cries. You pay for this foolish act with your own children's life. They will die when they're 18. This will be your woeful prize. Thus the story ends here, but the curse endures anew. Six children have died with the sign of the witch on their bro. At the same night comes the next morn, we had a newborn, and this sign some rumor says numbers when she'd be reborn. Yes, I'd seen that sign before, just before our died. No natural death, heck, he killed himself that night. He always acted strange, but last in my sight. He seemed not quite himself, like a dog can be thrown aside. I snuck into Gallo's home and found a spot to hide, then he came in silence and went up like night and dried, clad in, back, clad in black face pale moonlight, eyes so wide and his chamber was changed, mirrors around his plate. Then I followed him upstairs as silent as a thief, where the saw was much for me, my beliefs cracked beneath. His chamber door was not closed, to me held his back. But I saw a reflection of pale face color with bloody offer relief. He was carving the sign XI on his brow with an old rusty blade. Then he cut off his own he cut his own throat so quick he did not hesitate. And fell down to the floor, still alive, and shaking in pain so great. Then I ran away into the night, all I could feel was called the dread. This is the story I have kept in this soul of mine. Everything started for me the first April, first of April, nine, 1699. That was the date of, on which Harold's soul took flight, and I'm sure tomorrow will be the witch's triumphant night. I think I read it good. Uh, probably maybe I read it again. I uh, did the recording thing again. So let's look for clues now. I think. Time of the Trump wins could be probably useful. Hmm, not in particular researching.
Oh, one. According to, well, I didn't read that thing. Eight thirteen, so eighteen years old. This can I do this? No. Six children died under the curse. So it's five clues. Yay! Just five. I thought I wrote. I was reading three, looking for three clues. But oh, there are five. There were mirrors in the house in which writers took. Okay. Probably exceed this. It's a clue. I think it's like obviously a clue. Gallo carved the sign exhale himself. Yeah. Because that's the only thing that looks like a clue. Maybe the date. April 9, uh, 1699, the Death Barrel killed himself. So I found all the clues. And no hidden ones. So I'm. Um, can I think about myself? Let's see. Ah, if a child, if a child dies every eighteen year, every eighteen year for three children, eighteen for three fifty four years should pass. So can the rebirth date be nine sixty sixteen ninety nine plus fifty four seventeen fifty three? Could it be? You know, let's check it out. Uh, one seven five three. Welcome, Clark. Yeah, thank you. Enter a date. Oh no, entry found. That wasn't even a date. It's about my birthday. Ah, that's my birthday. So we might as well move away from here. Let's move. Let's move away from here. Can I? Can I? How can I go back to my office? Is this a dream too? When I walk out the door, would the world still be the same? I hope so. I was freaking scared last night. At least not a bad dream. Freaking scared last night. Where is that? Oh. Oh, good. That turn was freaking. Uh, go to my office, maybe? My office. Doesn't be mine since I was promoted to police detective. Okay. Uh, was I sent off? Uh, just came in to check on porn. <laughs> just joking. Uh, Let's check this thing I can check. What's oh clues? It's Clark Field. The victim of my case. It's not clue. The thing what the fuck? Okay. So I think that's enough for this part. Ah cannot. Who was born in nineteen? Okay, that was a clue. Died maybe here. Oh, two clues! That's good, maybe there's a Havenden clue. The only thing that can. Oh no, no, no. Oh. What the fuck is this? I need to find other clues. Suffocation. That's a hidden clue. Oh, how it was. Morris Digger, 26. My my signature was Portland Cemetery. Four days. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, it's nothing. So, uh, what did I find out? 
Recognize the bridge for entry? But no. Uh, I think I better go to his house, maybe. Maybe here I could do something. I hate this house though. Welcome to the Titan Silk. You reach it by climbing through serpentine shady tunnel like streets where the houses bulge and lean against each other. The hostile natives peer out of windows and doors for TV. Yeah, this looks like a quite good place. Should search more carefully this time. Okay, better go upstairs with quick. What if the witch is here? The thing. In the back here, there was there was stuff here. I remember. Was it the briefcase there? No, oh, this music. There's even this statue. But I think I have nothing to put inside. Hear the sounds? So let's see the briefcase. It's locked. So don't know. Let's think. Briefcase, briefcase, locked case. Um, I'll be right back. So, the date should be, I've read, around that you have to add to the date of birth 22. So, because it was the year when he was happy, so it should be 98, something like that. I don't know how I was supposed to know that. Open and shut close suitcase. Let's open it now. Hmm. <sighs> These are mere field notes, Mister. Cassette number one. Very insert the cursor first. Okay, let's hear this. Well guys, the video was going too long, I'm um, editing now, so I'll cut it here for the fourth part of the Darkness Weeping, and let me know if you liked it, maybe share the video with friends, and if you want to subscribe, I'll be very thankful, you would help me to grow my channel, and that's all folks for this video, and see you in the next one. Bye bye! I'm gonna kill you dear. Oh god. What the fuck are you? What the fuck are you? Oh, he makes me jump. You make me... Make me... Jump high.